Big Boys Big Neighborhood, boy. we are after the yeah. show, oh, man. Yes. After the show, happy Tuesday. July 18th, man, after the show. Uh, Natalia, we'll start with you, baby girl. Dude, this R. Kelly's... We start with you all the time, huh? You no, go, sometimes you can start we go. We start else. with Louie or sometimes <laughs> okay. we go oh, left to right. You want to start with Ayde? Yeah, let's start let's with Ayde. Let's start with Ayde. Go ahead now, Ayde. Oh, mine's a really heartbreaking story, though. Okay, well, let's what? not go there, then. <laughs> I feel... Yeah, no, no, we... I think... But I think, that, yeah. it's but I think that it's a reality check and a lesson that we can all learn from. So, it's actually bittersweet. Nah, it's not. nah. It's just I, I, I just looked at what it is. It's not uh, bitter. But go ahead, baby girl. Ahead. Well, actually, it's not bittersweet at all. Right. Yeah. But I'm I'm saying that I feel like it gave me a reality check. So there was this 14 year old. Her name is Madison. Rest in peace. That See? decided to take a bath yes, and man. charge her cell phone at the same time. Right. And it seems like she was taking all the precautions because like. Um, there was this picture that she sent out to her friend, sadly, like right before she passed. And the picture, it's um, an extension cord. Like it seems like two extension oh, cords put together and they're over a towel. So they're not like near like anything that's wet necessarily. Wow. Um, but unfortunately, I, it seems that she reached out to grab her phone while it was uh, plugged up and being charged. Because I believe that the the burn was on the side of the hand that she would have grabbed it. Mm-hmm. Um, so she was electro- electrocuted to death and... It like really just made me think of um, how attached we are to our cell phones Mm -hmm. because like literally like there's not a moment that like our cell phones aren't out of our hands. Like we rely on everything with our cell phones, like to the point that we want to be in the bathtub with our cell phones. Like that to me is very extreme. Mm -hmm. And but it's not like I'm sure that she's not the only one doing it. You know what I mean? Like like Ani, we were talking about this yesterday and Ani was saying how. She'd jump out like she'd be on the phone yeah. in the shower, right? You know what I'm saying? But Damn. she's not plugged in, and I don't know what the, exactly what that electric current is. But this right here, and we we spoke about this briefly yesterday, man. That's a tuition into the school yes. of experience. Yes, like my daughter and my son, they have a phone, and they, you know they don't take it in the shower or nothing like that. But yeah. I do have to tell them even this story, right? Like you know whatever you're doing, don't do this, you know, because at 14. You know, she just didn't know. And it she wasn't didn't. about being young or naivete. She just didn't know. No. And, and then, like I said, like, it seemed like she was trying to take the right, like, to keep it safe, right? Mm-hmm. She put it over a towel. But I don't know if I'm saying uh, this word right. Frayed? Like, one of the wires was frayed? Yeah, is that yeah, the word? yeah, yeah. And so, you know what that is, right? No, is it That's like if you have a, a, an extension cord. Yeah, and, and one of the wires, it's like it got shaved just a okay, little bit. So and the I wire have, is exposed. I have a cord like that. I need to yeah, man. switch that yeah, out real quick because it's kind of weird. Dangerous. But yeah, it just it really just made me think for one, like I'm sad that she's so young and she lost her life. But like you said, like that you you do have to like just kind of wake everybody up. Like your phone doesn't have to be in your hands like 24 seven. And people and- really don't understand. Like I saw I was on the freeway yesterday and I saw this this cat just kind of like drift in my lane real quick. Mm-hmm. It's sure enough when I got up next to him. Yeah, he was he He's was, on his he cell was phone. texting. Right. You, and people do it. You know, and right. everybody think. It's safe. Oh, I got it under control. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? And anyone that has an accident during texting, they didn't think like, oh, man, you know, I'm about to have this accident right now, but right. I need to send this text out. Right. We yeah, all think that we can get away with mm-hmm. it, and it doesn't take nothing but a split second for you to either hurt yourself or hurt somebody that's around you. Yeah, even exactly. me, when I'm driving, I'm like, dude, after a while, I'm just like, dude, I got to put my phone down. Like, yeah. like I don't know. I, I don't know what I was. I don't know if I was even looking at the road the last thirty seconds or. Oh last no, it could have like, been thirty. You, you know what trip, I mean? But, like, but that's how long you you you, you kind of yeah. zone out on your phone where you're just like, okay, what like what happened? Because like, and what I do, man, if if I, trip if I look at my phone, I look and I'm like, okay, well, I, I need to get back at that. That's why mm-hmm. sometimes I don't mm-hmm. get right back at people because I'll stack mm-hmm. what I need to get back, or even if it's something that needs attention, I'll pull over. You know what I'm saying? Right. But of course, yeah. you still look and you answer the yeah, phone. Like I'm not sitting here like I'm on a pedestal. Oh right. But I also have kids. And I try my best not to let them see daddy text or, or you teach know, teach them and, that habit. Yeah, and, and and even not that, just putting them in a danger zone. That's true. You know, because it takes nothing but a second. And yeah. like you said, there's like separation anxiety nowadays. Yeah, it like, is. Like, man. like 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 dog. I don't, every I, everybody does this, but. Just taking your phone into the restroom when you got to go number two. Isn't that the yeah. best? Like, it is. Even just it. taking it. Like, when it's I run in there me. and I forget that I don't have my phone in my pockets and I close the you door and I'm already, I'm already sat down, I'm like, okay, now I'm in. Now like, bored. Now, yeah. like, it's anxiety. Grandma! <laughs> it's anxiety. <laughs> Grandma! Grandma! <laughs> like, I, I panic Can you pass a me the phone, please? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> just, throw under the, just throw it under the door, imagine. Sometimes I sit there and I'm like, 
I've been done. Like, why am I still here? Just <laughs> yeah. chilling on my yeah, phone. They say it's so, so nasty. They say it's so bad for you. Yeah, like, you shouldn't be bad, anything if you're in the bathroom because you're not supposed to be in that position for that for amount that of long. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found out the hard oh. way. Yeah. I'll tell y'all. Put your legs start going numb. Oh, yeah. I think oh, it's been oh, too long. Oh, I've had numb legs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you're like, you got to hold on to the wall. Like, what the fuck? That's when you're like, all right, you're fine. You're right in there, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Like, oh, yeah. Numb leg happens, Jack. Best believe that. All right. Well, for those out there, man, like we say that, you yes. know, and sadly, that is a tuition, uh, uh, you know, into the school of yes, experience definitely. for a lot of us. All righty now, Louis G. All right. So there's this lady named Sarah Cummings, uh, a 25 year old pharmacy student at uh, in Indiana. Her and her fiance planned this thirty thousand wet thirty thousand dollar wedding at like this yeah, crazy restaurant. The food was catered for. Like everything was set. Last minute, they decide to cancel the wedding. Really? What? Yeah, man. Why? But the venue and the for? food was already paid for, and it's non-refundable. Oh, whatever hell they. Not. But you know what? Whatever they were going through, yeah, it only man. cost them thirty thousand dollars. That's Jack. Mm-hmm. insane. I guess it was a mutual agreement of them to stop, like not not get married. Mm-hmm. But it, it, the way she but talks why? about it, it seems like it was like it was heartbreaking. I had to call everybody and then cancel and then crying and telling them it's over and this and this and that. Thirty grand though that was spent. Damn, yo! I just googled how much does the average wedding cost in the United States? Yeah. Twenty six thousand, almost twenty seven thousand. That's crazy. That is, that crazy. is so much money. And then yeah. once you start, like with me, it was like I either invite uh, everybody or mm-hmm. invite really no one. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so I kind of went with more of the no one. Like we I got like married that. in our backyard. You know what I'm saying? Like we, it was no one there that you really yeah. had to do a hard introduction mm-hmm. to. No one flying in and yeah. all that. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, and, and not even all my coworkers, you know? Yeah. The neighborhood was yeah. there. I didn't go down the hallway to sales oh, and felt yeah. obligated to invite everybody, you know? Right. I but, have a girlfriend who got married. I was in her wedding a few years ago and rec- most recently. And by the way, she was the girl that wanted the traditional wedding. She wanted the big one, mm-hmm. the brides, everything, right? So um, recently they were trying to buy a house, but they were finding it a little hard to have like get a down payment for the house. And she goes, I know what you're going to say but i'm just gonna say it even though i don't reg- regret my wedding i wish i didn't spend as much money on my wedding right. like she came to that realization yeah. like right. the money they could have spent or the money they could have saved from not having everything that yeah. you think you're supposed to have and that's what yeah. happens man people plan a wedding but they don't plan a relationship yeah. they don't plan a marriage that part every you know what i'm saying and <laughs> yeah. people throw weddings for everybody else oh yes mm-hmm. you know and, and i'm sitting there man and, and you know we had the cater and everything but i see cats are like oh it was a hundred dollars a plate or and i'm like man for one people and my thing is this Mm -hmm. if if somebody invites me to a wedding i gotta go to the ceremony and the reception Mm -hmm. i hate people that just pop up at your reception like it's a party and you know what i'm saying sorry i missed that you know like man you crazy as hell i missed the most important part yeah and i tell cats also man i'll be like man eat all that food jack this is sixty (laughs) dollars a plate yeah man think about it so the 30 grand that she uh initially has to already pretty sure she already paid for it so what she did dude is uh she reached out to a lot of homeless shelters oh, and, that's fed, beautiful. and fed the homeless with everything. That with is all the beautiful. Food and food, man. Bro. How dope that is, is that? That is beautiful. Right? That is good. That's something like, I, even when I read this, I was that's like, dude, awesome. that's something like I know Big would have done. Or Hell like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this is, the food's not going to go to waste, so call up all the shelters. So she fed everybody, man. That's, that's amazing. I heard that. They, they, they were like, man. Find her. Yeah. This is good. What is this? <laughs> filet mignon? This is lobster <laughs> filet mignon. Right. Is she over there crying? Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But this tastes amazing. But like you said, $30,000 to like whatever they were going through. Yeah, man. So wh- um, where are you guys getting married at? You and Matt. Yeah, what's um, up? We're, we'll get married in LA, in yeah. Los Angeles. We'll do it here because smaller wedding. Small. We're no, it's not a wedding. It's oh, a celebration. It's I a heard party. That. We're gonna throw a really big party. So we y'all just, gonna do y'all y'all? We're gonna do something se- like very sweet and sentimental just for yeah. family. And literally. then yeah, exactly. And then on its completely different day, we're just gonna throw a big I love party. That. We're gonna either have like a taco guy or like an that. In-N-Out truck or something That's like that. We're gonna do Taco Vato for half party. Hey. 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 <laughs> You know it's not to say for free. Keep yeah, the tape. Keep the tape. Yeah, you no, know, I give you a great deal. I give you a great deal on top of that. I got you, I got you. you know, I almost messed up by saying half yeah. price. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we give you a great deal. It's funny though, because like I'll tell some of some friends or like random people, like, oh, we're gonna do it like this, and this is what we want. And they're like, well, but you still gotta have flowers. And every time someone says, Well, you have to do this, I go, No, I don't. Nah. I don't have to do anything. I even Mm-mm. had the discussion with my mom. I said, I'm not going to do it the way you think you you want it. And she's yeah. like, but and then in the end, I kind of, I was like, mom, you have to understand. I was like, what, isn't it more important that I'm with a man who supports me and you love and that is a part of our family and this? And then she was like, 
okay. And she got on board. <laughs> and I was like, don't worry, there'll still be pictures and you'll still have your nice little things. And I was like, but anytime anyone says, oh, but you have to do this. I go, no, I don't have to do Man, anything. Let me I'm going to do you, it. Did anyone see the baby announcement fail? Oh my, no. I, you I saw, saw, I saw the video. I didn't hit play on it. Okay. Tell no, me. I haven't seen it. It was a couple, uh-huh. right? And they wanted, she wanted to reveal the baby sex to her husband uh-huh. because they didn't know. And it, you, you know what's going down, Jasmine. And and to a few people that were there. Uh-huh. So she gave him a baseball bat. And she had like a, a ball. Mm-hmm. And when she would toss the ball, he hits the ball. And then, you know, yeah. whatever dust. the baby is, dust Color, comes out. Yeah. So she tosses it and he lets it go as a ball. He didn't swing. She tossed it. It went to the ground, broke, and it was pink. <laughs> oh. It was a girl. That's the way that he got it, that his daughter. That's, that swing, was his, buddy. Yeah, because you're supposed to swing, and then all the dust, you yeah. know, oh. flies out. Yeah, oh. yeah. That's it, a fail. That's yes, sad. it was, yeah. man. It's funny and when it you see viral. those videos. And, and now she should have said, you it. have to hit this. You have to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she probably didn't think that. No, for sure. My man just looked at it, and I mean, she was close. <laughs> and he just he just let it fall. Oh my god! Yeah. Do anybody know anybody, know anybody that ever got proposed to and said no? Oh, uh, I mean, I te- I technically had someone propose to me and I said no. Oh. I said yes. Oh really? Though, really? Somebody? I didn't know that. My my high school boyfriend proposed to me. And then what happened? And it then, was just life. And then I said yes, and then I was like, uh, well, I'm going to college. So well, how old were you guys? Were y'all in high school? In high school, like right before we graduated. Oh, that is so mm. stupid like, right, and cute. Right, right, <laughs> right before we graduated, because he 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 had always said like, oh, if we like last through like high school and like, then that means like we should get married or whatever. I was like, yeah, yeah. Like we'll be high school sweethearts and it will be perfect. Whatever. So like literally a week before we graduated, he got on one knee and he gave me a ring. It was a cute little tiny little ring, but it was a ring. And he asked me to marry him. And I said, yes, I said, yes, because I thought like, yeah, it made sense. Right. And then like reality started to set in, bro. Like, oh, you gotta go I was like, uh, so, wait a minute. As oh, soon as you now. got out to the bus stop, you were like, where are we going to live? <laughs> I was like, you don't like, even have a real job. Yeah, like, you got a job. <laughs> what? It's like, man, he working oh, at the car wash. Yeah. On he the got weekend. my name tattooed on his wedding ring too. Really though? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you got a smooth really? little stalker, yeah. Jack. Stalker. <laughs> Not even a stalker. Yeah. You just had a smooth like. Yeah, he was too, too much. Five years. He he's married now. I bet, huh? I think he is. I know he has a kid. I don't know if he's married. Yeah, there's just some cats, man. Like one of my homeboys, he just wanted to get. He was bad in relationships. Just wanted to get married. Really? Really? Yeah, man. And he just to he, lock it down. Yeah, he got married three times before. Damn. Like, hey, man, stop this shit. Wow. I <laughs> like, do. I'm not going to no more motherfucking weddings. All like, you ain't stop getting it. no gifts. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like his first wedding, I didn't even go to. Yeah. Because you know it was <laughs> like times. he was dating this girl. And then she was from, he went to go see her parents, her mm-hmm. family, right? And you got to know him to understand what yeah. went down. And so when he was like, yeah, you know, man, I'm going to go meet her mom and her dad. And <laughs> I was like, dude, you know she introduced you to her family because she going to say that y'all going to get married. Oh, wow. No, man, no. She just wanted to meet her parents, man. <laughs> went out there. One week, came back. He had the date, oh, the venue, everything. Oh, wow. So they get married. They get divorced, right? So then he gets another shot at love, gets married real quick, divorced. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So then this guy, he found the one. Found her. Okay. We were like 23, probably oh, 22. Still- he married his high school teacher Shut who just hell. happened Shut to be the Stop principal at their school. Stop 20 it. plus years older than us. No. You know what I'm saying? And so then... I'm so done with this guy? He was like, hey. yeah, such and such. And he was like, yeah. So when he was getting married, he took her last name. Oh, my God. So I said, man, I said, why did you take her last name? And he was like, man, because, you know, I don't like my father. And I don't want, I don't wow. want my father's last name. I said, such and such. I said, really, she is married. or She was married already. So you taking <gasps> that other dude's <laughs> name. No, no. You taking wow. her first husband's wow. name. He's yeah, and my man, he, he smoothed him with one of these. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, there it is. Oh, my and there's still together for her. No, oh, no, oh, okay. no, no. How long did that Bernacle one last? Mark Little. Ew. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, Little wow. was his last name before I forgot what. What it, what it turned into after you got married, man. Wow. But, but there it is. All right, we're going to get okay, out of here, man. man. After the show, we're gone.